Many junior and senior high students in Taiwan attend cram school, given the country's highly competitive educational environment. However, one expert says that excessive study and lack of sleep could lead to stress and depression for teens, ultimately undermining the very academic performance their parents focus on. One professor says that outside academic help should only be used when a student is having trouble in a particular subject and when the teacher is unable to provide sufficient help. The government introduced a national curriculum in 2019 to reform the educational system. But experts say that parents and teachers also need to be on board to improve the situation. Out the door at the break of dawn, in class all day, and then off to cram school after class is let out. Such is the life of a typical high school student in Taiwan. I sleep for about four or five hours a day. It has a serious impact on my mental state, my psychological state, my health. Sometimes I get a headache or feel like vomiting or just don't feel well when I wake up. In the morning, I will suddenly feel depressed and won't feel like doing anything. According to a survey by the Child Welfare League Foundation, nationwide an average of 60 percent of junior high and high school students go to cram school after daytime classes. In cities, more than 70 percent of students attend cram school, and nearly 25 percent in cities go to cram school every weekday. Parents feel at ease when their children get outside help for every subject. We are not against cram schools, but we believe it should be used properly. When a child is having trouble in school and the teacher can't help them, that's when they should go to a cram school. After a day of classes and tutoring, students still face homework when they get home. That can mean more than 10 hours of study every day and stress that can have a psychological impact. There are two components of the depression that students experience. The first is the loss of relationships with others, and the second is the loss of achievement. The student will feel that they cannot meet the expectations of those around them, such as their parents and their teachers. The national curriculum introduced in 2019 was supposed to tackle the emphasis on cramming in Taiwan's school system. But teachers and parents alike have continued to focus on grades and test results. For now, it would appear that Taiwan has a ways to go before adolescents can explore their own academic interests freely.